So in science news, China has said that they found the largest gold deposits on Earth. Located in the Wangyu gold field, they're estimating that there's nearly 1,000 tons of gold. Now that's a phenomenal amount of gold, equivalent to around 500 million gold rings. That's if there are actually 1,000 tons there. Valued at over 63 billion pounds, the authorities in China have said that they've drilled down to 2,000 meters and identified 40 gold veins. In those veins alone, they've estimated that there are over 300 tons of gold. And by using advanced modeling and surveys of the subsurface, they've estimated that there's an additional 700 tons 3,000 meters below the surface. So an additional 1,000 meters below the veins. The deposits are considered extremely rich, over 138 grams of gold per ton. Now, to put that into perspective, the average across the world is 8 grams per ton. This makes it a phenomenally high-grade ore deposit. Does all this sound too good to be true? Well, the World Gold Council is skeptical. See, they describe the 1,000 ton as being aspirational because they've only done high sample drilling for the 2,000 meter veins, which show there's 300 tons. And that seems more reasonable. And to add to that, 2,000 meter depth veins are extremely difficult to mine. Some of the technical challenges include extreme heat, seismic risks, and extremely elevated operational costs. Historically, there are only a few mines in the world that have gone past the two or 3,000 meters. And one of those is in South Africa, 4,000 meters. And the only reason why this one works is because of the exceptionally high grade ore that's found there. Now from the announcement, these veins are exceptionally rich, which means that will not be an issue, but they still have to get down there. And even though there may be a thousand tons of gold in these deposits, it won't make much of a dent on the market. With over 3,600 tons being exported around the world globally, the 15 or 30 tons from these deposits won't impact supply very much. And for all we know, there might be way less than they're actually claiming. Chinese mineral reporting standards differ from those such as ones in Canada and Australia, and therefore independent verification is vital. But the Chinese are keeping this area sealed and in secret because there's a shit ton of gold there. So while the reported discovery is important, scientists are saying be cautious. Comprehensive exploration to international standards is required and verification is a must. If you enjoyed this content, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.